his feet, buy himself some time. He can really sling it around the yard as well. Thrown for over 300 yards in each of the Yellow Jacket games this season. That's going nowhere. That's going to be a loss on the play. And he's tough. And he'll find a way to scrap and win. Threw for over 300 yards in the come from behind win against Old Dominion. First down on the catch, 11 yards. Keyshawn Williams went up to grab it, and the chains are moving. Win that one on one battle and knock that ball down. That ball bouncing around on the turf is scooped up by Wake Forest as Griffiths was back in the pocket. Gordon fell on it. First possession of the game for the Demon Deeks here in our first quarter. Ellison. Looking for a lane. Ellison inside the 20 and down near the 10 and bashed out of bounds. Justice Ellison let it develop and took it 29 yards. And made both of his attempts against Old Dominion. And Wake Forest is on the board first. In all of this conference without question. Watch 91. You know that King will be watching him. Floats it down the sideline. It's caught inside the 40. Haynes King pass on schedule to Luke Benson for Georgia Tech. And the loss against Ole Miss for Georgia Tech. Takes a look. Let's it go. To the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown. A Georgia Tech touchdown to Eric Singleton Jr. one of our Walmart impact players it's man coverage in this little corner route here and it's not terrible coverage again Once he gets going those offensive linemen they have the angles and not this time for Wake defense got to stop here but now the offense is back in the third and long King 38 yard line on the money that pass Coach Key was Georgia Tech captain back in 2000 and played in four bowl games for the Jackets. This is deep. Intercepted. Deshaun Jones returning it. Knocked out of bounds near the 25. Third interception of the season for Jones in that Demon Deacon secondary. Griffiths feels the pressure. Throws on the run up past the 35-yard line. And what appears to be first down yardage to Grimes and 11 yards for a wake first down. We'll see if Thacker brings another blitz. He'll bring four. 104 on third down. The edges will bend. Griffiths with the dance. And they get him. They get to Griffiths. They bring him down near the 35-yard line and a loss of one. Looking at a third and medium empty. You got to be careful of quarterback draw here. Three for four on third down. King throws it inside the 10 and into the end zone. The money ball and the touchdown, 33 yards. And this is miscommunication here. Plenty of time for King. And, and Carson, you see the reaction at the end. He must have thought he had help over the top. Kalen Carson is an outstanding cornerback. Let's see if Thacker heats it up. He's got five up there. We'll bring four. Griffiths. Got away for the moment. Throws it up near midfield. Pops out of the receiver's hand height. And taken by Georgia Tech and King. And now there's a marker on the field as well. There's several. Nice job by this defense. Victory for Wake Forest here if all they get is three points after that fumble near the goal line. 25-yard attempt. Eden Burr. Defensive staff, they haven't reminded, hey, this quarterback's a little bit shorter. Let's get those paws up. So it's a third down. One for five on third down. Griff is trying to get out of the pocket, and he won't do it. Georgia Tech was five and seven last year and four and four in conference play. Up the middle, high step in his way to the 25 yard line. Jamal Haynes at 13 yards. So this is going to be a 48 yarder from Burr. Aiden Burr knocks it through. One of the better teams in the ACC. Well, that was the first game of the season. Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Ellison forges he's forward. Up, he's he's past the 35, maybe to the 40. 15 yards for Ellison at a first down. Oh, hook and ladder. 
Now they are at their own 40, so this would be impressive on what should be the last play of the first half. Going to go safely on the play, the run from Ellison. It's another first down at 15 yards. They picked up 30 yards on the ground in the last two plays, but they'll go to the locker room, and that is a 20 to three lead for Georgia Tech. There's a lot of time in this second half to come back. They got to keep working down the field. It's not happening here, guys. Griffiths is going down again. That is sack number four in the game for the Jacket D. He was down on the turf for Georgia Tech. He's got three sacks in the game. We'll keep an eye on that. Down the sideline, Ellison forced down at the 30. Jalen King. Griffiths threw three TD passes in the come from behind win a week ago. This time he'll hand it off. Claiborne running to the end zone. And the Demon Deeks strike in the third quarter. Seven yards from DeMond Claiborne. Where if, if this isn't a slow mesh play, but so much of the night they're, they're asked to stand there. Would-be tackler on his back blocking for his guys. Haynes, elusive, now has some space, driven out near the 50 by Slocum. How about the moves? Wake Forest scored, rushing TD from Claiborne in its first possession of this quarter. Griffiths rolls and throws, complete Morin, 40-yard line, drags a couple of jackets with him beyond that 40. They got 20 yards on that toss. Like you had it on the opening drive of the second half on the ground. Griffiths in a cluttered pocket tried to throw it. I'd be Georgia Tech ball. And they just scooped it up. Did it hit the ground even? Well, that's Biggers, 88, wow. celebrating. It is Georgia Tech football on the road against the Eagles. That'll be next week, 2 Eastern. Open man, 15 yard line. Making a move at the 10, flag is out on the play. The receiver, Rutherford, spun down. 12 yards on the play, there is a marker. 27 yards away, Aiden Burr. Two for two in the game, he's now three for three. Field goals of 25, 28, and 27 yards away. 23-9, Georgia Tech in the fourth. Players playing hard for him, and Georgia Tech deciding to keep him as the head man there on the sidelines. Pressure. Fumble. It was Wallace on the hit. Three of nine on third down of the game for Wake. Morin just had his sixth catch of the game. They're going to give it to Ellison. Ellison up the middle of the field. First down and more for the Demon Deacons. And down to the 42-yard line, 16 yards on the run from Ellison. Griffiths got a little time. Clock's running out on Griffiths. And the integrity of that pocket is compromised again. The seventh sack of the game for Georgia Tech. This time it's Andre White. First things first, you got to get into that end zone. Looking to the end zone, adjusting to the football, and making the catch for a touchdown. Wesley Grimes for Wake Forest and a 16-yard touchdown pass from Griffiths. Finding a way to get the defender off of him, come back and look this football in. Take Carney. Griffiths got away from that first wave. Gets rid of it and it's intercepted along the sideline. Keenan Johnson, interception, Georgia Tech. Try to get a first down right here. They have fared well on the road recently in the ACC. Three and one in their last four road games. The fake the run. King, 40-yard line. Trying to accelerate away. And he's written out of bounds. Mustafa caught up with him. King with that pretty little fake. There's room right up the middle, headed to the end zone, and now stepping in, Jamal Haynes. 
Trying to drain a couple more seconds <laughs> off of that clock. on the back enough here tonight. But look at this. This isn't. This is the new look offensive line for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. And, and now Dave Clawson's offense has to act fast. That is going to be sack number eight on the night. Kyle Kennard has four sacks in the game. So that's eight sacks in total, ten tackles for loss, four pass breakups, and they caused four turnovers. How about the effort from the swarming defense, despite all the penalties? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, they, hey, they'll take it because you know what? Hey, playing aggressive football, <laughs> that kind of that goes hand in hand. You know, you can't patty cake and expect to force turnovers and sacks. Griffiths running free past the 45-yard line. This is a this is a very nice win for this Georgia Tech team, and Wake Forest got to bounce right back because they've got Clemson up next. Griffiths on the scamper, fighting for the 30-yard line. 19 seconds on the clock. Yeah, Wake will be off next week, James, and then at Clemson October 7th. They lost to Clemson last year in double overtime, 51 to 45. Last overtime game that Clemson was involved in before today in the loss to Florida State at home. Batted around, intercepted. Jalen King, this is his second pick of the night, acrobatic. For a defense, it was Thurston to try to turn it over a little bit. They certainly got what they were looking for here tonight in Winston-Salem. That is the final, 30-16, to 16, with about four minutes to go, James. 